Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? It is Justin, your guide into Top Trader. It is uh, it is Monday, Monday. I don't even know what day it is. It's Monday on Board TV, and we're going to dive into one of the latest products that are coming out of Yuga's The Workshop Division, right? Again, it's built on ApeChain. It's built, on Rebo it's built in collaboration with Reboot Protocol, which actually migrated to ApeChain, uh, I think. Okay, well, it was on Arbitrum before, so they're both on Arbitrum, so... Uh, I guess it's kind of the same thing. Uh, maybe just, okay, At nuance aside. Uh, let's just break down what Top Trader is. You know, I see this as one of, you know, the first steps towards Yuga building like an overarching ecosystem um, for their for their IP. Um, you know, there's, you know, Yuga's lifestyle, board apes, other side, infrastructure, so on and so forth. So um, let's talk about Top Trader first. So again, Top Trader is a sim trading experience. It is the premier schizo sim trading platform. What's it all about? So it's a trading simulation game, of course. You can buy in at any time um, to a sim trading competition. So it seems like there's going to be multiple competitions. And of course, I got to move my head out of the way here. Uh, prize pool coming soon. And I, I got to move myself back here. So you can win ApeCoin based off your leaderboard rank. So the ApeCoin... Uh, there's an eight point funded prize pool. There are skill based rewards, and then there. Okay, we don't necessarily know what the entry fee is yet, but tournament entry gets you ten thousand USDN in the simulated environment. So again, as the in game currency, you can trade the top tokens and meme coins, outperform your peers, and earn eight coins. So if you are a trader, this may be something that you can keep your eye on. Um, there are asymmetric rewards. So again, here's the reward distribution. The top trader takes fifty percent of the prize pool. The prizes are distributed daily, and the top 25% ranked traders win ApeCoin. So the top trader gets 50% of the prize pool, um, and that will be distributed daily. Second gets 6%, uh, third gets 4%, so on and so forth. And then again, uh, this is a simulated environment with up to 1,000 uh, lever th x leverage. So uh, I feel like it's inevitable that you will get liquidated <laughs> in the competition. So uh, maybe not. Maybe if you like to keep it safe, but who knows? So up to a thousand X leverage, leverage is risky. If you get liquidated, don't worry, rebuy to keep playing. So again, obviously split set, split second decisions. There's some rules over here. So the minimum holding period of five seconds. So split second decisions do make a difference, especially if you are on a thousand X leverage, because a half, of, I guess even like a 10th of a percent move against you if you're leveraged on a hundred or a hundred, a thousand X. Is going to liquidate you it's going to wipe you out um so again there there is an faq i'll briefly go through this again i already talked about what top trader is i'll make sure to link this in the description but then we're also still going to talk about garga's overarching plan for like the workshop too but we'll go through this faq real quick the, F, the top trader will launch at the same week of ape with that ape chain goes live so whenever ape chain goes live feel free to check out top trader and you'll be able to see whether you can participate um, and again, it runs on Ape Chain. Are these real trades? No, they're all simulated. What happens if it get liquidated? If you get liquidated, it means that you're out of out of the tournament. You can re-enter the tournament by re-buying. You can re-enter as many times as you like. And then, if you have an FA, if you have an, if you have an FAQ question, a full set of FAQs will be released at launch. So get ready. I'll make sure to link this in the description. But outside of Top Trader itself, what is the workshop? So Garga said, our uh, Garga posted back in October 30th. And I'll break this down. I'll actually zoom in so, you, so we can actually just read this. So shortly after I took over as CEO, we created a new division at Yuga to focus exclusively on emerging products. Emerging products. We call it the workshop. So who's working on it? 13 of our best engineers and product people. No fat, just doers. We have a deep well of technical talent here that was squandered on trying to swim against the current. I have wrote about some of that before. So in short, you will never compete in crypto by trying to be some Web2 megacorp roll-up Frankenstein. So how do you win? And this is gonna this is gonna really dive into um, where Garga is taking Yuga. So this is actually pretty important to kind of go over. So you win by shipping content, tools, gasoline on chain all the time. So content people love that they can't get anywhere else. That is actually a pretty cognizant point here because if you look at any incumbent, any of the biggest um, you know, organizations in the space, you know, Apple, for example, Apple has an ecosystem. I would say, you know, largely Yuga does have an ecosystem. It's a lifestyle brand. It's a merch brand. It's an NFT brand. It's a game brand too. 
uh, has all those things going for them. And again, these are all things, you know, I, I remember watching a video about covalent bonds and the more covalent bonds. Anyways, it's, the, it's a network effect, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you guys get the point. Um, you can't really have an ecosystem if you don't have like the infrastructure, the tools, the games, um, everything that people want to use. The best tools for a community full of builders with a cult-like affiliation and degens shit. So take Coinbase's move to go all in on base as the lesson, right? Coinbase, um, that's a good example, actually. Like Coinbase is really supporting base as like their premier, um, I would say premier chain, right? That they support, right? Because I feel like they developed that, right? So make the delightful stuff, make it on chain, make it fast, make new primitives and protocols or remix old ones. D apps, not apps. So the workshop is one of the primary ways you're going to see us doing that in the coming weeks and months as we roll out the team's first set of products on ApeChain. It seems like ApeChain is going to be one of the core pillars that you will be supporting or building on top of, right? But to be clear, I don't know if the first products that roll out on the shop are going to be hits, right? So when, th so when something doesn't work, we kill it with love but no mercy. Oh, damn, damn. Just take them out of the shit. Jesus. Okay. And we'll ship something new and entirely different. We'll get addicted to the 8 to 12 week product cycle that we practice in our first year. Interesting. Very interesting. So again, I would assume that product cycle probably starts once ApeChain goes live. So I would assume they have a set of products um, and they're just going to continue iterating over that over time. See what hits. Keep those. See what dies. Um, if they're dead, probably kill them. Or just uh, <laughs> anyways. So this new Yuga looks like a lot like the first Yuga. It's not for everyone. And we have to say we have had to say goodbye to some folks as we cement this direction. But our internal demo days are filled with stuff that makes me laugh or wonder how the fuck it got made so quickly, right? Iterating quickly is, is really important, you know, and it all makes me itch to send it out into the world. So we're gonna start doing that soon on Ape Chain. So again, that is his uh his blurb here that he posted on Twitter on August 30th about the workshop. And again, I'm I am very optimistic that Yuga will be developing more and more stuff as ApeChain goes live, as ApeChain becomes core to other side, to products, to MBAs, to all the ecosystem things that, you know, function inside of the Yuga ecosystem and, you know, just become more, I guess, subtle in the background, right? More, more people really want to focus on, um, you know, the products that come out, right? You know, things that they can do, such as Top Trader, right? There are other games, you know, uh, you know ApeChain, ODK, all those things that are necessary for a flourishing, um, I guess, really network effect environment. So again, that's all I got for Monday on Board TV. Definitely, all the links are in the description. Hit that like and subscribe. Um, it always helps us create more and more content and cover everything inside the Yugaverse. But as always, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.